Namaste everyone. Nice to meet you all again. Welcome to Total Synopsis of Trigonometry in one shot. Are you ready guys? Yes. So, how will we start trigonometry? First of all, we have to discuss what is right angle triangle. Coming to right angle triangle. It is a triangle in which we have a right angle. Right angle bole to 90 degrees. First of all, name the triangle. Side opposite to right angle is the biggest or the largest side that is known as hypotenuse. Now consider an angle. I am considering this theta. Theta is just a symbol. It's a Greek alphabet. Fine. Now the side opposite to theta is known as opposite side. A uh, side adjacent to theta is known as adjacent side. You can also consider theta at A. I'm just redrawing the figure. If you consider theta here, hypotenuse will not change because it is opposite to right angle. So this is hypotenuse. Now, the opposite side becomes BC. This is opposite side. And this is adjacent side because AB is adjacent to theta or angle A. Got it guys? Okay fine. So, we will be introducing the six trigonometric ratios. Okay? Trigonometric ratios. First is sine theta. Si n. Okay. One minute. I'll write properly. Second one is cos theta. This is the short form. It is cosine theta. Okay. It will shortly known as so cos theta. Nickname. Right. Third is tangent theta. That is known as tan theta. Cotangent theta. That is known as cot theta. Next, secant theta. And cosecant theta. These are the six trigonometric ratios. The first three trigonometric ratios are known as primary ratios. Remember these, okay? And the next three are known as secondary ratios. Okay? Sin theta multiplied by cosecant theta 
is equal to 1. Got it guys? Okay fine. I'll just give you more two relations with, by using four ratios. Okay? One. Now coming to the second set. Now observe cos theta and secant theta. Cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. Secant theta is hypotenuse by adjacent. So same conclusion. Cos theta. You can write cos theta is equal to 1 by secant theta. Or secant theta is equal to 1 by cos theta. Or cos theta multiplied by secant theta is 1. If you remember. Done. Okay. The last one. Tan theta and cos theta. Observe them properly. Tan theta is opposite by adjacent. Cos theta is adjacent by opposite. So same conclusion. Sure. Right. The third thing. So tan theta is 1 by cot theta or cot theta is 1 by tan theta and last all cot theta multiplied by tan theta is 1 and theta multiplied by cot theta so that's it we have completed the relations no more two important relations are there sorry remember these what is tan, tan theta here? Tan theta is opposite by adjacent. So if you want to write tan in terms of sine and cos, how you can write? So tan theta is opposite by adjacent. I like it. See. So now consider divide hypotenuse uh, both by on numerator and denominator. So what you will be getting? Opposite by hypotenuse by Adjacent by hypotenuse. So, this is in term. Opposite by hypotenuse is sine theta and adjacent by hypotenuse is cos theta. This is sine theta by cos theta. So, this is the declaration. Tan theta is sine theta by cos theta. Important. Got it? And last, cot theta. Same you can write. Now tan theta is sin theta by cos theta. Just now I have told cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. So directly reciprocal it. Uh, so this becomes cos theta by sin theta. Got it? Okay. So we have done with the relationship between these. Now we will go to identities. Okay. Now coming to identities. Now build the triangle again. I am drawing a small triangle so that we can solve. On other side. Name the triangle. Don't forget to name the triangle. Okay. Now this is hypotenuse. Now I am keeping theta here. And this is opposite side. And this is adjacent side. Right. Now. Now consider what is sine square theta plus cos square theta. Just consider. This will be our first identity. Okay. So what is sine theta? It is opposite by hypotenuse. So, AB by AC. Don't write like this. Why? It is square. So, square it up. Plus, what is cos theta? It is adjacent by hypotenuse. That is BC by AC. Cos square theta is BC by AC. Both square. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry everyone. I just forgot to say something. Leave this. I'll tell you what is Pythagoras theorem. Just here properly. I'm really sorry. Follow this. One minute. Coming to Pythagoras theorem. One of the most important theorem when we are dealing with the right angle triangles of the trigonometry chapter. So what is this Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras theorem states that hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of the other two sides. That is, from this triangle, I can directly write opposite square plus adjacent. So, if you are having any problem of understanding, just go back to our videos, watch that. Just join the class again. So, this is Pythagoras theorem. So, from Pythagoras theorem, you can directly write AC square is equal to a 
AB square plus BC square. Got it? Just keep this in mind. I'll help you. Just return the Pythagoras theorem result here. So, now we'll open this. You'll be getting AB square by AC square plus BC square by AC square. You can directly add them because the denominators are same. So, AB square plus BC square from Pythagoras theorem it is AC square. Cancel out and you will be getting 1. So, our first identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This is our first identity and most important identity. From here, you can also conclude by sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. So, sin theta is root over 1 minus cos square theta. Or you can also write, one minus I don't place, I just drop it down. Right. Now, cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta. And cos theta is root over 1 minus sin square theta. You have to remember this. Not remember, mark up this. Understood? Okay, now we are done with the first identity. What is the first identity? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So, coming to second identity. Second identity. Consider secant square theta minus tan square theta. So, what is secant theta? Secant theta is hypotenuse by adjacent. So, AC by adjacent is BC whole square. Minus what is tan square theta? Tan is opposite by adjacent. That is AB by BC. So what you can write from here? I am directly writing the step. AC square minus AB square by BC square. From Pythagoras theorem, if you send AB that side, BC square is equal to AC square minus AB square. I will write BC square is equal to, I am sending this here, this repress, this becomes AC square minus AB square. Got it? So, AC square minus AB square is BC square. Cancel out gives you 1. So, the next most important identity is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Now we are left with one more identity. Before going there, I will be discussing. So from here you can consider. Secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. Got it? Or secant theta is equal to under root over 1 plus tan square theta. Same. You can conclude. I will just. And you can also write tan square theta is equal to secant square theta minus 1. And tan theta is root over secant square theta minus 1. Okay. So, there is another important point to remember. This you can write as secant theta. This is a square minus b square. This is the form of a square minus b square. Which one formula? What is a square minus b square? a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So I am just splitting like that. Secant theta plus tan theta multiplied by secant theta minus tan theta gives you 1. This is ever. So sometimes I will be asking you, they will be giving secant theta and tan theta. Secant, secant theta plus tan theta they will give you as t. Now find what is secant theta minus tan theta. They will ask you in general. So you have to directly say, they will ask you like this, secant theta minus tan theta is what? So from here you can write, from here you can write, secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by secant theta plus tan theta. Got it? Agree? I am just sending that side. So, now we have we are having secant theta plus tan theta is p. So secant theta minus tan theta will, be, will become 1. This is important. Okay. So understand. So 
we are done with the second identity. So, in the same way, you can derive the third identity also. I'm just, I will give you directly what is the third identity. Now, coming to third identity. Same, third identity is called secant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. In the same way, you can derive everything. I'll just write it off. So, derivation part you can do. Uh, from here directly cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cos square theta. Cosecant theta is equal to root over 1 plus cos square theta. Or cos square theta is equal to cosecant square theta minus 1. Cos theta is equal to root over cosecant square theta minus 1. You can write, see this is also in the form of a square minus b square. So directly you can write it. it is in the form of a plus b into a minus. So directly you can write this as cosecant theta minus cot theta multiplied by cosecant theta plus cot theta. So don't forget that problem. If cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to k, then what is the value of cosecant theta plus cot theta? Directly one by Got it? So till here we will be ending the identities. So why we have successfully completed the identities. Now stop. Stop it guys. This is just beginning. We are having more interval scene, climax scene. Bohat zada hai yaar. So until then Control your emotions. Control it. Because now I'm going to discuss topic values. Values of trigonometric ratios. So, now I'll just discuss a small shortcut with you people so that you may feel easy and you don't need to mark up a lot. So, see, sin theta. First, you have to just know what are the values of sin theta. So, you, you can derive cos theta, tan theta and rest, rest all. So, first of all, write like this. Square root of 0 by 4. Square root of 1 by 4. Square root of 2 by 4. Square root of 3 by 4. And square root of 4 by 4. What are these? 0 ke upar 0 by 4. 30 ke upar 1 by 4. Square root of. Don't, don't forget that. 45 into 2. 2 by 4, 63 by 4, 94 by 2. What are those? Yes, these are the values of sin theta at 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. Now I will tell you how. Sin theta, sin 0 is 0. 0 by 4, 0. Root over 0, 0. Answer is 0. Got it? Sin 30. Root over 1 by 4. Root 1, 1. Root 4, 2. Answer is half. Find it easy? Chill. Now, sine 45. I can cancel out 1 by 2. Root over half is 1 by root 2. So, sine 45 is 1 by root 2. Got it? And sine 60 is root over 3 by 4. That is, root over 3 is root 3. Root over 4 is 2. So, answer is root 3 by 2. Got it? Now, sine 90. The last value is sine 90. Root over 4 by 4. Uh, 4 by 4 is 1. Root over 1 is 1. See, so easy. We are done with sine. Now what about cos? Cos. We are done with sine. Just reverse it. You will get the cos. 1. Root 3 by 2. 1 by root 2. Half and 0. This is cos. Tan. We have. So coming to tan. We have already discussed what is tan. It is sine theta by cos theta. So now tan, the, tan 0 is 0 by 1. 0. 1 by 2 whole by root 3 by 2. 2, 2 cancel 1 by 2, 3. Now tan 45. And one minute. It's playing hide and seek with us. Tan 45. 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2. Cancel, cancel. 1. Next. Tan 60. Root 3 by 2 by half. 2, 2 cancel. Root 3 by 1. That is root 3. 1 by 0. Anything by 0 is infinity. Or undefined. What? 
So you get the sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, you can derive the rest. That is cot theta, sin theta, cos theta. So, fine. If you are having any kind of doubts, just go back to our previous videos, watch them, join the class again. Uh, but see that you will be thorough with this whole table. Okay? Now coming to, uh, we have already discussed the values. So we are, uh, now we will be discussing about the maxima and minima of the trigonometric ratios. Are you get ready guys? Chalo, chalo, fine, fine, fast, fast. Now coming to maximum and minimum values of trigonometric ratios. Now what is the maximum value of sine theta? Sine theta's maximum value is 1. So if anyone say sine theta value is 2, what is the angle? Or what is the value of the angle? Then you have to say. You are not having any sense. Sine theta cannot be 2. Because sine theta's maximum value is 1. Now sine theta, what is the uh, minimum value of sine theta? That is minus 1. So it cannot be minus 2. It cannot be minus 3. So on. Coming to cos theta. Same. 1 minus. Coming to tan theta. Not same. It is minus. Sorry. This is plus infinity. Maximum value is plus infinity. And minimum value is minus infinity. So it can take an E value. So where are we using this maximum and minimum? First of all. Yes. I will give you an example. So, if I give you sin A plus sin B is equal to 2, find the value of cos A plus cos B. In such questions, we will be using this maximum and minimum concept. How? Sin A plus sin B is 2. This is a given for us. From here only we have to derive what is A and B. So that we can get the values of cos A plus cos B. Now consider the sin A plus sin B. What are the possibilities? This 2 0. 2 0. Sin A 2. Can it be? No. Sin A cannot be 2. Why? Because sin theta's maximum value is 1. So, 2, 0, rule down. 0, 2. Sin A can be 0. Yes, it can be 0. Sin B is 2. It can? No, it cannot be. Because sin theta's maximum value is 1. So, it cannot exceed 1. So, 0, 2 is also ruled down. Any more possibilities? Think. 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 1, 1. Yes. Sin A is 1, sin A is 1. So it's possible. Now what is the value of A? I have discussed sin theta is 1. What is the value of theta? It is 90 degrees. So sin A is 1. What is the value of A? It is 90 degrees. Now sin B is 1. What is the value of B? 90 degrees. Now we have got the values of A and B directly substitute in cos A plus cos B will get the answer. So simple. Now coming to cos A plus cos B substitute cos 90. Cos 90 plus cos 90. What is the value of cos 90? Yes, that's the reason I told. Mug up, mug up, mug up. If you are having any doubts, just go to our previous videos, watch and join. So cos 90 plus cos 90 is 0. So cos A plus cos B is 0. So like this we can find it out. Got it? Yes. Now I'm going to next topic. Our next topic is complementary angles. Now coming to complementary ratios. Before going to complementary ratios, you have to know what are complementary angles. When two angles sum up, sum up to give you 90 degrees are known as complementary angles. So if you consider a right angle triangle. This is 90 degrees. Name the triangle. If this is theta. What is this angle? What is this angle? So by applying angle sum property. What is this angle sum property? Sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. I repeat, sum of all, all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. This is angle sum property. Now, apply angle sum property to this right angle triangle. So, 
angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees, right? Angle A we don't know, angle B is 90 and angle C is theta. So I'm sending all that side. Directly you get 90 minus theta. C. So see guys, when you sum up angle A and angle C, you will be getting 90 degrees. Right? So they are known as complementary angles. Enough. Now what are complementary ratios? Come to complementary ratios back. Sign of 90 minus theta. What is the value of sine of 90 minus theta? See guys, sine of 90 minus theta. So it lies here. So for that, this is opposite side. For 90 minus theta, this is opposite. And this is adjacent. And this is hypotenuse. Now I'm redrawing another triangle. So that you will not get confused.
Now we are going to discuss uh, how the ratios behave in each and every quadrant. That this, so you have to have a value so of this. So this is 0 degrees. You will first have 0 degrees here. Uh, this is 90 degrees perpendicular. So this is 90 degrees. I write here. This is 180 degrees. These are angles. So this is 270 degrees. Now remember, when you construct a triangle in the quadrants, theta should always lie on x axis. This is the point. So this is a triangular quadrant 1. So first of all, assign the ratio. See, assign the signs. This is plus, this is plus, and this is plus. Remember this. Hypotenuse is ever positive. Small. Now, consider the second triangle in second quadrant. Theta will be here. Now, assign the signs again. Here, the x is negative, y is positive, and hypotenuse is ever positive. Now, consider the third triangle in third quadrant. And right here. So, theta will be here. Now, x-axis is negative, y-axis is also negative, and hypotenuse is ever positive. But, uh, now coming to fourth quadrant triangle. This is theta. Now, x-axis is positive and y-axis is negative. Hypotenuse is ever positive. So these are the four triangles and four quadrants. We are done with that. But why we are doing this? We have to discuss the ratios, right? So consider quadrant one. All are positive. Now what is sine theta? So this will become the opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Sine theta is positive. Uh, positive by positive. Gives you, sorry, positive by positive. Opposite by hypotenuse, positive by positive, gives you positive. Sand theta is positive. Cos theta, adjacent by hypotenuse, positive by positive, positive. Tan theta, opposite by adjacent, positive by positive, positive. Uh, cot theta, reciprocal of tan, tan positive, cot positive. Uh, secant theta, reciprocal of cos, cos positive, secant positive. Cosecant, reciprocal of sine, sine positive, cosecant positive. So we are done with this. So in first quadrant, all are positive. So this is all. All the ratios are positive. We are finding any kind of difficulty. Just go back, see the videos and join your class. Okay? Now, coming to second quarter. Now, you have to be careful, guys. Careful. You are having negative x-axis included. So, this will become the opposite. This will become the adjacent. And this will become the hypotenuse as well. Now, consider sine theta. Sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse. Positive by positive gives you positive. So sine theta is positive. I'll write it. Uh, okay, fine. I'll write this. Don't worry. Sine theta is positive. Cos theta positive. Tan theta positive. Cot theta positive. All are positive, right? So I'm just writing all the ratios. Now coming to second part. Sine theta is positive. We have declared that. Now coming to cos. What is cos? Adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent is negative. Negative by positive gives you negative. So cos theta is negative. See guys. Cos theta is negative. Now what about tan theta? Tan theta is opposite by adjacent. That is positive by negative. Gives you Negative. Tan theta cos theta negative. What, what about cot theta? Negative. Because it is reciprocal of tan, that is negative. If you are finding any kind of difficulty, even a small problem, just go back to our videos, see there, and again join the class because this is just brush upping of class, okay? And now next is cosecant theta is positive. So see guys, in second quadrant, sine and its reciprocal are only positive. Hence, we will represent second quadrant by silver. Silver represents sine. Sine and reciprocal. Sine and its reciprocal are positive. All means all the ratios are positive. Silver means sine and its reciprocals are positive. So we are done with quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. Now coming to quadrant 3. Hmm, fine guys. Now, Consider sine theta. This is this becomes opposite by hypotenuse. Minus by minus by positive 
gives you negative. Sin theta is negative. Cos theta adjacent by hypotenuse. Negative by positive. Negative. Coming to tan theta. See guys. Opposite by adjacent. Negative by negative. Negative, negative cancel out gives you positive. So tan theta is positive. As tan theta is positive, cot theta is positive. Because as a proper Next, secant theta. Secant theta. Cos theta is negative. Secant theta is reciprocal. Secant theta is Cos negative. Coming to cos secant theta. This is also negative. Because sin theta is reciprocal. Kata. So, I don't negative. Now, what you can conclude in third quarter? Only tan and its reciprocal are positive. So, I so, will represent that. We can represent this third quadrant by T. All silver T. Where T represents tan theta and its reciprocal are positive. So, done. We are done with the discussion on first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and which are fourth quadrant is left. So, we will be going and discussing about that. So, coming to first quadrant. Yeah, opposite is there, adjacent is there, only hypotenuse is missing and right Done. Coming to sin theta. What is sin theta? Opposite by hypotenuse. Negative by positive is negative. Next, coming to cos. Adjacent by hypotenuse, that is plus by plus, gives you plus by plus. Gives you plus? Yes. Now coming to tan theta. And opposite by adjacent, that is minus by plus, gives you minus. Cot theta, are tan negative hai to cot bhi negative. Secant theta, cos positive hai ya, so secant bhi positive. Are these are sleeping badly. Next, cosecant theta, sin negative hai to cosecant bhi negative. So see, cos and its reciprocal secant, it's like double symbol, secant are only positive. So this fourth quadrant is Represented by cos. Where C represents cos and its reciprocal that is secant are positive. So, this, yes, we are done with all uh, discussion on all four quadrants. That is, we have completed all silver T cups. First, uh, Russia, all boleto, all the ratios are positive. Silver boleto, silver S or SI. Sign and its reciprocal that is cosecant are positive. T. T bole to tan and its reciprocal that is cotta positive. Cups. C bole to cos theta and its reciprocal secant theta is positive. That's it. So this is the discussion on quadrants. And furthermore, why we will be using this all silver T cups is a question. When you are having an angle, when we will be dealing, dealing with the angle greater than 90 degrees or we are having an angle greater than 90 degrees, we will be using this all silver teacups. A quick and a fast brush up. Yes. So how to find the values? Remember two things. First question is which quadrant and second is which axis. These two are the main important points to solve the problem. So first you have to know the position. If I give you 90 plus theta, in which quadrant it lies? This is the first question, which quadrant? See, I'll explain you with a small example. I'll take cos of 90 plus theta. First of all, you have to see 90 plus theta lies in which quadrant? 90 lies here. Which quadrant? 90 plus theta? Second quadrant. So, this lies in second quadrant. Ha! Now, 90, which axis? 90 lies on which axis? It lies on y axis. So, remember, if the angle lies on x axis, no change directly put the ratio. If it lies on y axis, change it into complement pair. What are complement pair? Sin and cos are complement. Tan and cot are complement. Secant and cos are complement. If you are having any difficulty or any problem in understanding, go back to our last previous videos, watch them and come back to this class. Understood? Sure. Now come. 90 plus theta lies in second quadrant. In second quadrant, cos is negative. So directly write it first. Because in second quadrant, only silver that is sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive and remaining all are negative. So cos of 90 plus theta lies in second quadrant. So cos is negative in second quadrant. We are representing by 
negative sign. So this is the story behind that. So getting back into the story. 90. Lies on y-axis. Y-axis bole to change karna padega. Cos changes into sign. Answer is minus sign theta. Find it. That's it. It's easy. Yes, I'll discuss some more examples with you people so that you can feel it easy. Hand off, I'll take. Seven twenty minus theta. Now, first thing, where does the seven twenty minus theta lies? Seven seven twenty lies here. Seven twenty minus theta lies here. That is in fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, tan is negative. Directly lies negative sign. Tan is negative because in fourth quadrant there is cups. Cups. बोले तो cos and its reciprocal is C के तार positive. Oh, मैं कितना है नहीं negative. Fine. So seven twenty minus. Next is which axis? Which axis? 720 lies on x-axis. X-axis bullet to no change directly for the ratio. I'll make it easy. First question is which Q, that is which quadrant? More. Next is which axis? Got it? These are the two questions. Now, when you have like this Tan of uh, y only tan it feels bad. I'll go with sign. We forgot sign here. Sign of 630 minus theta. How to write this? 630 minus theta. Where is the 630 line? So you have to mug up all these values. Don't forget that. This makes easy. 630 minus theta lies in third quadrant. In third quadrant, sign is negative. Directly right. Now 630 lies on which axis? Y axis. Y, y, y. Okay, fine. So it lies, it lies, it is lying on y axis. So you have to change to its complement angle, like a complement pair that is cos theta. Answer is minus cos theta. So now you're feeling it easy. If you go furthermore, you, I'll tell you. Don't worry. I'm here to discuss. Chill, 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 fine, fine, fine. Okay. Now we don't know what is the value or where this, this ratio lies. So first of all you have to divide it by 360. As previous previously discussed, base number is 360 degrees. So for every 360 degree rotation we will get back to our x axis. Uh, so first of all 2190 divided by 360 So 6 is 160. So 30 is the remainder. So after 6 rotations, like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I am here, plus we are having 30 degrees. So I am here, plus 30 lies in first quadrant. So this lies in first quadrant. Like another sign of 2160 plus 30. So 2160 lies on x-axis. Uh, so first of all, which quadrant? 2160 plus 30 that is 2190 lies in first quadrant in first quadrant all are positive so positive sign and 2160 lies on x-axis so x-axis for it to no change it is directly sin 30. Now what is the value of sin 30? That's it. We are done with this. Fine. So that's it to discuss about this also my teacups. If you are having any doubts or uh, queries regarding these you just go back to our previous videos see them and come back to join the class okay Fine. now our last topic we discussed is if i give you one ratio how you will find the five ratios it is by two methods that is identity method and by triangle method two methods so identity method is by using identities that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one sin square theta minus cos tan square theta is equal to one cos square theta, theta minus cos square theta is equal to one so by using these you will be finding the identities i'll just show you one ratio and remaining five you have to do if you are finding difficult, go back to our previous day, uh, previous videos. See them, watch them, come back to us. Got it, guys? Sure. Now, sine theta is given. Now, how you will find all other ratios in terms of sine theta? So, for, now coming to cos theta. What is cos theta? Directly, I told you have to remember 
by using this identity sin square theta plus cos square theta i have already told you cos you have to remember cos theta is equal to root over 1 minus sin square theta so directly i am going to write this because it is in the form of sin theta sin theta is involved so 1 minus sin square theta now i'm coming to tan theta directly tan theta is sin theta by cos theta so sin theta by cos theta So if you get sin cos tan, of course you will be getting cot secant cos secant. So cot theta is reciprocal of tan theta. So that is root over one minus sin square theta by sin theta. Coming to secant, secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta. Now what is this cos theta? Root over one minus sin square theta is cos theta. So secant theta is one by root over. One minus sine square theta. What it guys? Of course, second theta. So second theta is directly reciprocal of sine theta. So there is one minus sine theta. So this is by identity method. Or uh, you can also find when tan theta is given, how to find all other ratios and the rest of it. If you have any doubts or any uh, problem in understanding, just go back to our previous videos on this. A uh, topic. Just watch that and come back. Now coming to triangle method. What is this triangle method? As the name suggests, you will be having some triangle or dealing with some triangle. I'll discuss. See. Uh, now I'll give you sine theta is three by five and theta lies in quadrant one. Find all other ways. It's like this. Here we have directly given that theta lies in first quadrant. So directly draw the triangle which lies in first quadrant. Therefore, I have discussed with you theta opposite. This is opposite. Sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse. Directly I have write three by five, and we don't know what is this. So apply Pythagoras theorem. What is this Pythagoras theorem? I have already discussed with you. Square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. That is pi square is equal to three square plus x square. I am just representing this by x. So directly I will be getting 20. So x square is equal to 16. And x is equal to 4. Here x is positive. This is positive direction of x axis. So x is positive. And the answer is plus 4. Now we have computed our triangle. Directly write all the ratios. Cos theta is 4 by 5. Tan theta is 3 by 4. Cot theta is 4 by 3 reciprocal of tan. Secant theta is reciprocal of cos that is 5 by 4. And cosecant theta is reciprocal of sine that is 5 by 3. So this is one example how you can do by triangle method. I'll just give you another example and we will stop the class. Now this is another type. Uh, the same problem sine theta is 3 by 5. And here I have changed that theta is just is, uh, Theta does not lie in first quadrant. So, what is the hint now? Sin theta is positive and theta is not in first quadrant. So, that is all silver teacups. Sin theta is positive in all and silver. But theta is not in first quadrant. So, all is shown now. So, where does the theta lie? It lies in second quadrant. So, draw the second quadrant triangle. So, just now I have discussed this is 3, this is 5, and this is minus sign because negative direction of x axis. Just now I have derived it. x square you will be getting 16 and x is equal to 4. Pythagoras theorem. So this is 4. So 3 minus 4 and 5. So we are done with the values of triangle. Now directly compute the ratios. Cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse minus 4 by 5. See cos is negative. Yes we are correct. In second quadrant that is silver. Only sign and its reciprocal are positive. Make it any negative. So tan theta, tan theta is opposite by adjacent, that is 3 by minus 4 plus minus 3 by 3. See tan theta is also negative. Cot theta is minus 4 by 3, negative. Secant theta, secant theta is 5 by minus 4. That is 
minus 4 by 5 negative last but not the least and sorry guys uh, here we'll be getting minus 5 by 2 ok now last but not the least cosecant theta is so I divide 3 by 5 cosecant theta is 5 by 2 see cosecant theta and sine theta are only positive because theta is in second quadrant and all other ratios are negative so done and that's it I'm ending my class today. Where is the music, guys? Climax scene? Stop it, stop it, stop it, guys. It's just... Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Fine, fine, fine. Please, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe our channel with those Vignan Academy VVA. Signing off, yours, Srimeda Jewelry. Music again.